Welcome back to Hoops Junction. Vladimir here, and today we're going to be talking about Stephen Curry and his aspirations to take over the throne, so to speak, of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Alright, so reporters asked him after the win against Indiana if he was ready to take on the throne of Michael Jordan. And he, he said, let's get the quote here, he said, yeah, why else would I be playing? You want to be the best you can be, and if the best you can be be is better than him, then why not? That's a good motivation. Yes, indeed, that is great motivation. But I feel that all these talks about Stephen Curry and Michael Jordan and comparisons are way too soon. You know, Stephen Curry has done an incredible feat, which is, you know, winning NBA championship, winning MVP last year, and this year they're out to an amazing start. But I think we need to pump our brakes in regards to comparing them to one of the greatest, if not the greatest, the greatest, in my opinion, basketball player to ever play basketball. You know, it's it's always like that. Uh, I find like that the media, they can never have fun with what's going on now. They need to compare it to something. There needs to be some kind of comparison. They need to draw a comparison. There has to be something. Something to let you know that, okay, you're great, but, you know, can you beat this? Okay, what you did is really good, but can you do this? It's, it's what they did to LeBron James. It's what they did to Kobe when Kobe came into the league, always comparing him to Mike just because he picked up a few things from Mike. They did it to Shaq, comparing them to, you know, Kim Olajuwon and all the great big men that came before him, Will Chamberlain. I mean, we could never just be happy with what we have now. And what we have now is an incredible shooter, incredible ball handler, one of the best point guards that I've seen in a long time. And why can't we just simply enjoy it? You know, that response that Curry gave, you know, I can't really fault him for saying anything like that because you don't want to seem like a chump. And number two, you know, they ask you a question, you gotta, you gotta come up with a response, you know, or you, you know, you're gonna seem pretentious. So, at the end of it all, I think that the media is really at fault for pushing this kind, of, these kind of comparisons. I mean, why would you compare somebody with one championship to somebody that's won six? Why would you compare somebody that's, you know, they've been got one MVP to somebody who has five. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just like certain things just don't do it. You know, just just leave it, let, let it be. And I feel like that's what's not taking place here. These, the media is really pushing these things on Curry. And, you know, he's going to get himself in trouble eventually. And it's, it's really not his fault. They're asking him leading questions. I mean, when they lead with, do you think that you could take Michael Jordan's throne? I mean, how do you respond to that, you know? Like, to me, he shouldn't even dignify that with a response, you know, until he hits, you know, five, six championships. Any, and that's anybody. That's LeBron James. That's Kobe. Well, Kobe, Kobe Bryant is in it, just going out. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you just can't compare. Like, stop comparing these guys. Don't don't bring up these questions during media or media sessions. It's just be interested in the now. And I feel like a lot of fans, they can't be interested in it now because they're, people are always drawing comparisons to, are you better than Mike? Are you better than this person? Are you better than Iverson? I mean, why, why do I have to take away from Iverson and why do I have to take away from Curry? Why can't I just enjoy what I'm seeing with Curry now? It's just always compare, comparing and contrasting. and It's just ridiculous. I mean, I can't compare and contrast somebody with one championship like Curry to somebody like Michael Jordan, who's won six of them, who's done it in three-peat fashions. I can't do that just yet. You know, just calm down and pump your brakes. And really, this is just the media's fault. Media shouldn't be asking him these kind of questions. They see that he's he's at an all-time high. His confidence is high. So, you know, they're, 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 they're poking and prying. And I feel like, to be honest, he's too good of an athlete. And he's too, to me, he's... He seems like a genuinely good person. And genuinely good people, they don't need to get caught up in BS that the media is trying to stir up. Because, like, you already saw it with his wife. She said, like, one thing that was just her opinion, and the media swarmed on her. So, like, this, 
when whenever something happens with Curry with with him saying that he wants to go ahead and take down the throne, it could be seen as like okay, the next minute he screws up, people are gonna see, see say oh you're not like Mike, you're not better than Mike. Look, this is because and this is what happened with LeBron James. He got baited into you know say he wants to be the best and. Who wants to be better than this person or better than that person? The Mount Rushmore of this, Mount Rushmore of that, and it, he just fell into comparison. And if you ever read the book uh, Forty Eight Laws of Power, it says, "Be careful about stepping into another great man's shoes." You know why? Because you'll never be able to fill them. <laughs> That's why you need to walk your own path. And I feel like Curry is doing just that. I think. We need to stop comparing. The media needs to stop asking them those kind of questions. Same thing with LeBron James. Stop asking them comparative questions to Michael Jordan. You know, what Michael Jordan did is unique. What, what Curry's doing is unique. What LeBron did is unique. What Kobe did is unique. What Shaq did is unique. We need to treat it as such. We need to stop with the comparisons. We need to stop asking them baiting questions that's going to lead to the media frenzy because the minute something bad happens to Curry, he has a bad game or his team loses because they're on this nice winning streak, they're going to say, see, you're not like Mike because of this. Because if Mike was here, he would have did this. If this was here, he would have did that. You know, it's just pre it's too premature. And we really got to stop doing that. Stop comparing somebody's career to somebody who already finished their career. Wait till they're both finished and then we could draw a fair comparison. Until then... Let's stop with the comparisons. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Curry and his comparisons to Jordan and just the media. Just asking them stupid questions. Don't, don't, ask, don't ask somebody that question. You don't, don't ask anybody that question. You know, Let me know what you think in the link below. Do you think that Curry could actually reach those six rings? And do you feel that that's um, a reasonable aspiration? Like, comment, subscribe. Hoops Junction, where hoops meets hoopla. Peace.